we're funded at a level where we can be okay, we can do you know, good, enough, good enough things, but to be great, to be the kind of top level, internationally competitive law school that we all want it to be, then we need support from outside. And when I, you know, I refer to American law schools, that has to be now the, the, the ambition that we're, we're able to build up the kind of endowment that you've helped us to, to establish, which is there to provide students with all kinds of assistance as they go, th go through. I wanted to give something back because I thought I'd uh, taken uh, a lot of good things out of the, out of the law school. And uh, my son, uh, my oldest son, also graduated from the law school. We're very keen that this group of us, that are people that are coming through now in politics, business, government, uh, try and come together and support the law school and build an alumni so we can actually, in future generations, see more people make more impact. We've been very happy. Um, we occasionally get emails and also meet up with the people who've um, been awarded the scholarships and uh, yes, it's, it's intriguing to see how they're developing. What we've been able to do with the funds that you've provided to us is to provide scholarships for Indigenous students, to provide scholarships for students from socially disadvantaged backgrounds who in other circumstances just wouldn't have been able to come to a top law school. We've been able to help students to go overseas on internships and to go to mooting, mooting programs overseas. And in, in many ways, we've been able to do the sort of things which we simply are not able to do without, without your help. <laughs>